required to find the length, L, and the area of the yellow region. Label D, B, and C. Line C, D equals L, it is given. Angle D equals 105 degrees after substitution of values and simplification. Use sine rule. For divided by sine 135 degrees equals x divided by sine 30 degrees. Cross multiply and solve for x. x equals 4 multiply by sine 30 degrees all divided by sine 135 degrees. By trigonometric identity, sine 135 degrees equals sine 45 degrees, which is equals to 1 divided by the square root of 2. This is because sine of angle is positive in the second quadrant. It implies that x equals the product of 2 and the square root of 2 after simplification. From triangle D, B, C. Using cosine rule, dot we obtained an equation for the square of L as shown on the screen. Angle B equals 135 degrees. By trigonometric identity, cosine 135 degrees equals negative cosine 45 degrees, which is equals to negative 1 divided by the square root of 2. It is because the cosine of angle is negative in the second quadrant. Substitute values and we have that the square of L equals the sum of 16, 8 and 16 which equals to 40. Take the square root of the equation and we have that L equals the product of 2 and the square root of 10 measure in units. Therefore, the length L of the red line equals the product of 2 and the square root of 10 measure in units. For solution to question 2, given that the red line is 4 units, label O, B, C, and D. Let the length and width of the yellow rectangle be X and Y, respectively. Join line O, D. Y equals R, which is the radius of the quarter circle. Let angle O, C, db alpha which is equals to angle o d c it is implies that angle c o d equals 180 degrees minus 2 times alpha it is because triangle d o c is isosceles triangle using cosine rule we obtained an equation for the length of the square of line d c as shown on the screen by trigonometric identity, cosine 180 degrees minus 2 times alpha equals negative cosine 2 times alpha. The simplify form of the equation for the square of the line D, C is shown on the screen. Applying trigonometric identity, Cosine 2 times alpha equals the product of 2 and the square of cosine alpha minus 1. Substitute in the square of line D, C to obtain that the length of the square of line D, C equals the product of 4 and the square of 4 multiply the square of cosine alpha. Find the square root of the equation. Thus, the length of line D, C equals the product of 2 and Y times cosine alpha, after simplification. We call it equation 1. From triangle D, B, C. 
x divided by 4 equals cosine alpha, put it into equation 1. It implies that the length of line d, c equals the product of x and y all divided by 2. But line d, c equals 4 units. It is given. It implies that the length of line d, c equals 4, which is equals to the product of x and y all divided by 2. Cross multiply and solve for the product of x and y. Thus, the product of x and y equals 4 times 2, which equals to 8 units. Therefore, the area of the yellow rectangle equals 8 square units.